Joining us with reaction, Senator Lindsey Graham. What, what, what did they raise, like $100 million? You're like the, the new Ted Cruz in this election cycle, going up against <laughs> Bozo with $100 million. Well, so all I can say is that my opponent raised the most money in the history of the United States Senate uh, to take me out. Why? Well, the two ladies that confronted me at the airport were nasty. They're mean. They called Judge Barrett a racist. They're trying to intimidate me. About 150 showed up to my house in Washington. They broke my window. It's been that way since Kavanaugh. Now you got President Obama weighing in. It's not going to work. The people of South Carolina have my back. Enter your audience. You've been very generous to me. LindsayGraham.com. I'm going to be stuck up here getting the judge confirmed. I'm more determined than I've ever been in my entire life to make sure that Judge Barrett gets on this court next Monday, report her out of the committee Thursday, take her to the floor this weekend. I'll be managing the bill. And uh, my answer to those two ladies is to put this fine woman on the Supreme Court where she needs to be. LindseyGraham.com. Help me stand up to this mob. Help all of us. If these people take over our government, God, God help us all. They're the same people trying to ruin Diane Feinstein's life for giving me a hug. We can't let them win. You know, you got all of the Senate races now, and Chuck Schumer said no more legislative yeah. filibuster. They're going to pack the yeah. courts. I mentioned yeah. amnesty. I assume they want that. D.C., Puerto Rico statehood, that's part of it. So you got your race, you got McConnell's race, you got Martha McSally, you got Joni yeah. Ernst, you got Tillis in North yeah. Carolina, you got Purdue in, in, yeah. uh, in his race. We got the race in Alabama and Georgia is where, where Purdue is. Um, the Senate is as important as the president winning because yes. this would be the biggest power grab in the history of the country. And if you add four Democratic senators, if you pack the court, if amnesty is something of value to right. attract people to your party in perpetuity, uh, it seems to me, Lindsey Graham, I don't know if we'll see another Republican yeah. president in our lifetime. Well, they'll do away the Electoral College, which means that New York and California will pick the president forever. They'll go from nine to 13 members of the Supreme Court to wash away our conservative majority. They'll do away with the filibuster in the Senate, meaning that anything coming out of Nancy Pelosi's house will go to Joe Biden's desk. We got to win this election. We got to get President Trump elected. We got to keep the Senate. They're going to spend $120 million to take me out and all of my colleagues. Now, what can you do? If you can help me, I'm going to be up here all week. I won't be at home. LindseyGraham.com. Help Joni Ernst in Iowa. She's going to be on the committee. Help Tom Tillis. He's going to be on the committee. Whatever you can give will help us get our message out. And we're going to take this to these folks. We're not going to let them take over our country. We're going to fight for Judge Barrett. You need to fight for us. I've got Judge Barrett's back. You need to have my, my back, please. LindseyGraham.com. And by the way, and then you got Susan Collins. I mean, that second congressional Susan district Collins. Maine, oh, God, me, yes. means a lot, too. Martha McSally. Yeah in Arizona. Let me let me ask yes. you, this is not yeah. our first rodeo, okay? We've known each other. We've had a lot of fights even right. over the years. People might yeah. forget the, that part. Yeah, but, absolutely. But, but <laughs> right. you know, I've never watched a presidential candidate hide. You know, we're 14 days away, and Biden is taking off five of the last six days. How do you, how do you strategize or justify not campaigning as a better idea than going out and actually answering questions and talking about what you're going to do for the country. He can't, he can't carry the message for five or six days. President Trump's working his ass off, going all over the country, enthusiastic with a lot of energy. He's really accomplished a lot in his first term. Joe Biden is in his basement because he can't carry a message. At the end of the day, this debate Thursday is really going to be defining. We're going to win this race. I think there are a lot of Americans out there that are afraid of what the Democratic Party would do to our country, and they should be supporting Donald Trump because he's been a hell of a good president, and support people like me. I've been fighting for Judge Kavanaugh, uh, Judge Barrett. Support us all. We're taking the country in a good direction. The only thing between socialism and free enterprise is this election. The only thing between law and order and chaos is this election. The only thing between conservative judges and liberal judges is this election. Take it like your life, our country and your life depends on the outcome. It does. Uh, I wrote a book. It's called Live Free or Die, America and the World on the Brink. Yeah. Uh, I might have understated the case. Lindsey Graham, thank you for being with us.